the ghost. Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm Felice. And I'm Retta. And today we're tuned in to Tuned In Love Talks. And we're going to be watching Love is Blind. It's kind of like a reaction video, I guess. We're watching Love is Blind. What, what episode is this? I mean, what season is this? This is season six, episode one. Season six. And like we said before, we usually watch a lot of relationship shows and we thought it would be a perfect time to start a reaction video. <laughs> yep. So you're going to be watching us watch these crazy people. <laughs> you know, not all of them are crazy. They're looking for love. I mean, hopefully they, they make it. But we're going to be watching and commenting on what we think about different parts yeah so let's get this started i'm kind of excited hopefully i mean i think so far one of my favorite seasons would be season one I that was with one. lauren and cameron um who oh, else was on that characters. show uh, <laughs> but the, that's one of my favorite ones i mean there were others that i like but season one was my favorite all right let's get this started let's go they're in like a hotel or motel or something. Mm -hmm. So, so far we watched the preview and like every show, they make it seem like it's going to be some drama. So I was laughing because I seen one clip of the black guy and the tear. I'm like, <laughs> okay, so that's what we put in the cut scene. Like, I'm wondering, I'm wondering if he's an emotional guy already. Well, I don't know. It's too soon. We yeah, just started. I, <laughs> I like to predict before, so I feel like he's going to be the emotional guy. I, let's see. And I feel like they changed the theme... Theme song? Song. Like, I don't remember that being the theme song before. I don't remember the theme song. We watch a lot of shows. They all Yeah, suffer but I, I don't remember this being Higher Love. Or is it different every season? I don't know. I can't remember. Higher Love. love. <laughs> I like Nick and Vanessa Lachey. I think they do a good job moderating. I think this was a great um, idea for a show. But what I would quickly want to say is like, uh, so a lot of people are here for different reasons. One person is here because they're really into fitness and I guess he's a big guy and people don't take him seriously, right? Maybe they have stereotypes of big guys. Another woman mentioned that, you know, uh, when they hear that she's a cheerleader and a dancer, kind of maybe put her in a box and she's looking for something deeper and someone else mentioned that he's 25 and he's looking for uh, a serious relationship and they're like oh are you ready for a serious relationship because you're a 25 year old so what that gets me to think of is all the uh, assumptions and the presuppositions that we make on people just based on appearance just based yeah. on appearance and we did the same thing too we almost were not together you know, for a relationship to really last, you really got to go deeper than the parents. The parents can attract you. Yes, we can have our own opinions on what attracts us, our own preferences. But to make a, a marriage work is really way deeper, way deeper than just an appearance or your stereotypes. Yeah, and I was thinking about Jessica when she said that she has a child and she fe she feels like she wants to wait, excuse me, she wants to wait until... I guess they get to know her to let them know that type of information about her, her having a child. She have her reasons, but I personally don't agree with that. Um, I feel like that should be information someone knows before getting to know anybody deeper because that's very important information. What if this person is not okay with someone having a child and now you have them fall deeply in love with you and then now you throw this type of news on them i don't think that would be the right thing to do but that's her choice what do you think babe yeah i think she should say something because i i, I guess i can understand why she wouldn't bring up something it's because you know if it's not serious anyway why even mention it but at the same time though if it's going to be serious you have to have the right information you have to have the information for someone to be able to make that decision so I think she should mention something. I mean, they're on a dating show, so she already know the purpose of them being there is for dating. I feel like with them being on a dating show, they should be forthcoming. Any any important information like that should be said up front before getting into a deeper 
on a deeper level with before getting on a deeper level with anybody i feel like all these inf all that information should be brought to the front and fyi it's okay if someone doesn't want to be with you in a serious relationship because you have a child that, that doesn't mm -hmm. make them evil that's just their preference right right because some people like i was one of those people and it wasn't because i hated children it's because i love children mm -hmm. uh, is i i knew that if i got with someone that already had a child that would be a part of that person's life and the child's life that i'll never be able to experience and growing up like i grew up that was like unacceptable for me right because i wanted really to be deeply connected and a lot of men feel the same way, especially if you consider the fact that there's a lot of baby baby uh, uh, father drama or baby mother drama. And it's it's a lot to ask someone that is really, really serious about relationship to take on that responsibility. I'm not saying you shouldn't. I'm not saying it doesn't work out. That sometimes I'm saying it's, it's a challenge and it's okay if they don't want to go into a situation like that. Yeah. All right. Listen. <laughs> okay. So Trevor and Chelsea are meeting. For the first time in the room and then he asked her her name and she says chelsea <clears throat> and then he says that's my dog's name um you probably don't, you probably don't want to say that to you you probably don't want to tell a girl that you plan on dating and seeing you romantically the first time you meet that's that's all that, you know that's my dog's name i don't and, see nothing wrong with that <laughs> all right <laughs> She's trying to find some common ground. I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> so far, I'm not trying to sound shallow or anything, but something about Trevor, like his look just doesn't look right to me. Like he, his head looks too small. <laughs> Everybody has their preference. <laughs> no, uh, I'm saying like his head looks too small for his body. Like <laughs> some people may find that attractive. Hey. You know, some people like cricket teeth. Some but you know like what? He legs. might be. He might be a good guy. So let me stop. It might be. But yeah. But if he's not, I'm coming for him. I'm just gonna say. <laughs> so Matthew already has me laughing because he has questions written down, like he's in an interview. <laughs> Fifteen questions written down. Hey, your boy prepared. Hey, I like it. No, but it's like. They're in an interview, so it's funny to me. I'm still watching. What's with Matthew walking off on people? <laughs> hey, hey, what? Matthew just laughed. Oh, <laughs> Matthew. Sometimes I even feel uncomfortable hey. saying that word. Pause it. You pick the number and then you get a corresponding question. Number four, please. Hey, Matthew. <laughs> my, my last name is Matthew, so I gotta rock with Matthew. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Matthew, Matthew about business. Matthew, Matthew came in with 15 questions. He come in. Hey, he don't even introduce his name, no name. Hey, I got questions for you. You know? So he asked her uh, a question. And then he just got up and left after that. And then he goes to the second one and asks, asks the girl a question. And she kept going on and on. Of course, the edits. Make it seem like it was longer than it probably was, but he just sighed, got up, and walked yes. out. <laughs> My dog about business, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Go, Matthew. My boy, Matthew. I don't know what's going on. Matthew just connected with AD. I don't know what kind of edits is going on. I don't know what kind of cutting that was, people. Because I don't get how they just had this weird chemistry. Chemistry, yeah. And it didn't seem like the conversation revolved around anything. Right. Maybe they spray something in there to attract each other. Like, or maybe maybe they didn't feel like it was good enough to put on TV. But they connected. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. A rooting for you, Matthew. And AD, you got a nice spirit about her too. I, like I don't know nothing yet, but Clay seems like problem. Player, player. <laughs> That's all I got to say. He seems like... I'm just saying. He's going to be some problems. <laughs> just my first opinion. I could be wrong. But we have them. AD and Clay. Mm. All right. So, we suspected Clay of being a player. You know, but, you know, we were seeing to see. We were, we were trying to see if it would lead to that. And then what did she say? What did she just say? AD, what did she just say? And she said, um... He seems like he loved the ladies or something like that. Like he's a ladies man. He's a ladies man, yeah. And she is what? 
What'd she say? In response. She's curious. Nah. Curiosity killed what? What did curiosity do? The cat. Oh, okay. All right. That got nothing to do with nothing. But I'm just saying, though, like, you're going on this dating show because the methods in which you pick a woman or a man has not been working. Mm -hmm. Right? So if I'm going to open this door and turn it left and it's not working, why would I say, you know what? I'm going to go on a dating show and I'm going to turn this doorknob left. That doesn't make any, any sense. So it's like she's drawn to player types. I get it. They're charismatic. They're confident. They can make you feel special. I get it. But that hasn't worked for you. Right. And she clearly said that she's always been drawn to those type of guys. All right. So sometimes what we're drawn to. I mean, I'm drawn to eat a lot of great, delicious food. I, I love it. <laughs> Calories disagree with me, mm. you know? So it doesn't mean just because we're drawn to something that it's right. So what I'm thinking about with them is just trouble in head. Sure, they can have fun, maybe, you know, have a great chemistry and all that stuff. It'll be exciting. But I don't think it's going to lead to the depth that they're looking for because of the patterns. And I'm not saying that just because a guy had these characteristics or just because a woman is attracted to these characteristics that is destined to fail. I'm just saying, let's learn from our past. Okay, so Jimmy just got the message from Jessica. She has a 10-year-old daughter. And uh, he took it okay-ish. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it obviously affected him. I mean, he was... Oh, yeah. And... and and all that stuff. So it obviously affected him, but it's good to know that he can see past that and uh he it wasn't a deal breaker for him. We'll see how it goes. What's his name again? Jimmy. Jimmy, okay. So he wanted to make it seem like it was not so much of a well, whatever the girl said about her daughter, um, was not a big deal. Jessica. Mm-hmm. And then now he's talking to Chelsea. Who told him that she was married. Before. Mm hmm And it seemed like he was way more surprised at what she just said because he was lost for words. But he claims that Jessica's news shocked him more. Mm-hmm. Oh, when they, re when they replay that, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, boy. Good luck. Okay. I'm so confused here right now. Now I'm kind of like wondering if I can take his word. Maybe a process later for him. He got an emotional shock and then the reality of it slapped him in the face later. And then I don't know. Or does he have a hard time expressing what he really feels? And he just says what people want to hear. Could be that. We'll see. So I don't know if how she delivered the news to... What's this? Trevor, yeah. How she delivered the news to Trevor this time around that he didn't take it for anything or if he just is a different type of guy. <laughs> but um, he took it pretty well. And it felt like this time she wasn't so emotionally affected. So I don't know if she feels different about Brett or if he just makes it so easy for her to just say. Could be that. Say Could something. Be that. Could also be manipulation. They try to say, oh, it's just so casual so you don't get the type of response <laughs> like, that you've gotten it. Could be that too. I don't I know. I didn't get all that, but okay. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, by the way, you know, I, I did rob a bank five times. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, I was young. Uh, you know what, guys? For some weird reason, I don't know if it's just me, but I kind of feel like Trevor looks like Brett from season, was it season three? He was Brett. with, um, he's a black guy. Brett. I like Brett. Yeah, I really did too. He's married to, what's her I name? Remember. Gosh, I follow them on Instagram, but I can't remember right now, but I like them. But yeah, for some weird reason, he looks like Brett. He kind of talks Brett, like him is too. that you? <laughs> so far, it's looking like. Johnny and Amy is going to be a couple. Chelsea and what was his name? Trevor will be a couple. AD and Clay. Clay. No, not Clay. What's the AD other? Oh, and, and Matthew. Matthew. Yeah. AD and Matthew will be a couple. Jessica. Jessica and 
was the guy that Clay, Jimmy. Jimmy. Was it Jimmy? Yeah. Jessica and Jimmy will be a couple. Now, there might be a shocker with AD and Matthew. Who knows? Maybe she might go with Clay. Or, well, I don't think Chelsea would choose the guy that made her cry. But who knows? She may just, there might be a shocker. There might be some kind of like, he thought he liked her and then blah, blah, blah. And then this happened. So we'll see. Let's see how accurate we are. Clay just lost some points. I mean, not for me. Because I already saw him for who he is. But. <laughs> I'm sure he just lost some points. Because it's coming out as we thought. Yeah. AD, uh. AD, I don't know you, man. You might be a good guy, but... Uh... Guy or girl? Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm thinking of... Um, Clay. Clay. Clay, I don't know you, man. You may be a, a good guy. You know, this is a show. We don't have all the information, <laughs> but... Yeah, boy. You know it's called Love is Blind, right? Right. You know, I'm, just, I'm just saying, you know, the parents is, is, is something that you you value, and everyone should have their preference. You know, physical attraction is important and all that stuff. But you're on Love is Blind. Exactly. Just, like, you know, what are you talking about? Wanting to discuss looks or whatever and talking about what you've been attracted to and wanting an idea. People like that that get on those shows annoy me. It's Love is Blind. Yeah. 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 Uh, and I think AD definitely was turned off by that. But, mm -hmm. you know, I'm willing to guess because she's so attracted to smooth and charismatic and all that stuff somehow he'll still find a way to come back <laughs> and be in her good graces so let, let's see if my theory is right let's see if she actually starts looking more towards matthew now well i'll say i'll i'll, I'll oppose you not for just the fun of it i feel like she's smarter <laughs> smarter than you think okay i don't think all that nonsense he's talking is gonna work okay I hope not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> I say that because I I studied her her body language when it came to Matthew. And um her body language when it comes to Clay. And it could just be the editing to make it seem that way. But I feel like her body language is a lot different for Matthew than it is for Clay. So, like, whenever he's talking crap and nonsense, you can definitely tell that she's like, okay. So, we'll see. Good job, AD, for not playing into that nonsense that he's <laughs> talking about. Like, yeah, good job. So far. <laughs> good job. So, looking at Matthew, Matthew is uh, making my last name look bad right now. Bad? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Matthew, I like you, Matthew. I do. I think you and uh, AD make an interesting oh couple. God. She just, she's on the rebound right now, kind of, because, you know, the guy that she was really She's not on a rebound. She liked him. Well, I just called it that. But the guy that she really liked, which was above Matthew. I don't think so. I think so. She was flattered by, by the other guy, but I don't think that, no. Okay. Continue. I think the other guy, Clay, was her top choice. And then when that guy pretty much said, uh, oh, you know, looks are important to me. I want to know, you know, before that kind of turned her off. And now she went back to her second choice. And the second choice maybe became first choice in Matthew. Well, sorry, don't want to interrupt you. But all the crap that he that Clay was talking about that he wants in a woman, she has. She's beautiful. She has a nice butt. She has a nice physique. <laughs> She has really nice lips. She has a really nice smile. So she could have, like, if she really liked him, she could have been like, well, I'm actually all of that. So. That's a good point. Yeah. She's looking for something deeper. She's looking for something mm -hmm. deeper. I'll give you that. And my boy, Matthew. Uh, Matthew, Matthew. Matthew said, either either he said one of my biggest, greatest, ap uh, greatest accomplishments accomplishment. is meeting you. Or he said, my greatest accomplishment is meeting you. No, 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 Matthew, okay? Look. I understood what he meant by that. Listen, Matthew, 
okay? <laughs> this is a man talking to a man right now, okay? It's a man talking to, I've been that guy. A lot of women will say they, they like that, mushy, and yes, they do after they really like you, after they really see themselves with you. But dude, it's not, it's, what, it's, it's, how long? Wait. It's like an hour into the show. We don't know how much editing exactly. and stuff Exactly. He happens. just said yesterday we, he had fun talking to her. So it might be like day two or three already. And they're actually not just, they're not talking for 10 minutes. They're talking for a while. Some of them like sleep in pods to like, they're sleeping in the pods. <laughs> you have given her, look, man, a lot of guys reach out to me about this. I've been that guy. It's too much. When you give over the emotional keys like that too much, it, it becomes a turnoff. It becomes unsexy. It, become, it no, just she does for that. a lot of she's women. She's smiling right now. I don't know what he's talking about. Okay. She's smiling. And I get I get why he said what he said. He said that um, she's his greatest accomplishment <laughs> because he felt like he wanted to call his mom and said, hey, mom, I found her. So he's he isn't speaking like, specifically on just like her being his his greatest accomplishment but him finding a woman who is potentially his wife yeah. it, it feels like a great accomplishment for him all the guys who've ever ended up in friend zones or have had problems dating a woman and getting the woman they really want they're cringing all across the world right now <laughs> all right that's all i gotta say i'm rooting for them i root for them <laughs> So, I, I hope it's not true. It just got crazy. Um, Your boy, Matthew. I think we've been bamboozled. <laughs> I don't know, but... I hope it's an editing trick. What? So, I can't remember. I don't even know that girl's name. She said that Matthew told her... She's talking to AD. Yeah, she's talking, talking to AD, but I don't know who the girl is. Um, she said that Matthew told her that I guess he wanted to ask her dad or whatever to marry her or whatever. And she also said that, what did he say? You want me to come get you? When I'm, can you give me a map or something? Yeah, something like you? that. Like what? And now AD is pissed. Yeah, like she looked like she wanted to kill that girl. Like what? She's pissed. <laughs> oh, she somebody. Cursed. Oh, I'm not going to say the cuss word, but she even cursed. That's how mad she was. <laughs> Oh, Matthew. Oh, man. Come like, on, it feels Matthew. like... I was rooting for you, man. I'm still rooting Ooh, for you. Okay. Mm -mm. All right. So, we wrapped up the first episode of season... What is it? Six? No. Yeah, yeah six. season six. <laughs> We're at, we wrapped up the first episode of season six. And uh, so far, what are your thoughts, babe? So far, I mean, it's typical. Like, every episode one is like this. They <laughs> drop little nuggets here and there. Try to pique our interest. Probably by this, like the second episode, they'll probably like announce at least maybe one or two couples. So, so far, so good. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, <sighs> man, I'm curious to see how this develops. Me too. I hope it's some editing tricks that are making us think of certain things that's not true because we're we're rooting for couples. <laughs> We're going to be real about what we see. We're rooting for couples. Like Matthew, Matthew. Matthew, mm -hmm. Matthew and Clay, we're, we're worried. We're a little worried about you. You know, yeah. we're a little worried about Matthew and Clay. It's like someone's playing with that girl's heart. Um, AD. Because uh, yeah. it looks like she was trying to make the right decision by going with the nice guy. And the nice guy is actually, well, it seems like the nice guy is a crazy guy. But <laughs> Right. Allegedly. Yes. So we'll see. So we'll see. Until next time. You're tuned in to Tuned In. Love Talks. Peace. Stay up. Stay up.